Hello and welcome back to Vembrace. I'm at my bed because this is how you save the game and I had to save the game last time. We only have one spare outfit and we gotta go back to the tavern. I actually pondered whether I should uh, do that off video, but I think that could be just part of the adventure. So we got this uh, very, very uh, good looking lady in our team now. Yes, poor trade. Damn. Apparently the devs are pretty pretty busy uh, making changes to the game. But who knows? Maybe these things are gonna change. It's really unclear now. But Alandra and Bor Bora Kang are kind of the kind of similar now. Actually, we might need to look into their inventory. Yeah, I got a spare item. I don't know how you actually remove the item. Oh, I, I didn't want to uh, switch around them. I can take off the item, right? Did it happen, though? Did we take off the item? Come on. Um, it should have happened, right? If I go to V, and we go to stuff, yeah. We just took down that, took off the item. We give it to Lyric, and then give this one to Bora King. All right, just, just, just a quick check. All right, Dwarf, we're heading out. Maybe we shouldn't get too attached because it seems like they maybe don't level up. So that's a thing. Actually, one other, uh, one other thing we can consider here very strongly is looking around the bloody town. I know this could be really boring to some of you who already know what the hell is up with this town, but I don't know. It's gonna be first for me. Maybe they're just gonna tell me, Hey, fuck off! This is not your place. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I got the piece of paper. Let me see that. Hmm. Seems he has given you permission to walk about the city. Okay. Just don't get into any trouble. Amazing. There's an entire... Whatever. I'm just gonna check this out. What is this shanty? Oh. Hello, kind stranger. Spare some Hellion for the less fortunate. I don't even have the choice to give him money. Great. What is this? Hey. Hey, someone's coming. Keep it down. Okay. That's it? Where the hell am I going? Um. What's up, woman? My son fell in the battle to the dwarves during the incident. That, that was before the frost fell surrounded Eisner. Some have hope we will escape this hell, but what's left for me? Yeah, that sucks. I, I, I can't really cheer you up with like a bone word. I'm not even sure what to do with you. Like, I'm not really going on like happy adventures here in town. You know, if I'm in town, you know, feel free to hang out with me. Wow, that's not a good way to put it, but like, yeah, you know, I would I would love to have you around, you know? <clears throat> There's always hope to be found in the darkest of places. You have to keep fighting for him. Okay, um, it would be, that's pretty good, but maybe give her something specific? <laughs> You're very naive, young woman. What do you know of suffering? Ah. Uh. Kinda does have a point, but also she's hesitant to get better. What's up with those? Most of us were lured to the ice snare by the dream of finding riches in the new land. We now share a collective nightmare. Who really cares about our plight? Well, not not I do. What's in here? So just a lot of people we can talk to, or not really talk to. The drifters of Eisner arrived from all over the Terra. We may have come from different kingdoms, but we found the solace together. What do you expect? The dwarves believe we are all black with backwood degenerates. We gotta stick together. Okay, maybe we don't have a way to meaningfully interact with most of these, but just seeing like uh, learning a little bit more about uh, the circumstances definitely help. Hello there, little fella. Oh, it's just your face. It has that effect on people. 
Oh, what? Oh, actually, we are have lower health now. Even firewood is a valuable commodity here. A lot of us have resorted to burning what little furniture we have left to stay warm. Yeah, that's not not great. Where the hell am I going? Do, do should I really wait for like a uh, a reason to come here? All right, I'm I'm maybe reconsidering. What what is this? This is some serious tech. What is, is it doing all the way out here in such a uh, dilapidated state? <laughs> well, I don't really have much much of a follow up to that, right? Hey, what is this? Wanted. An able-bodied adventurer willing to get his or her hands dirty. Ooh. Uh, he's looking for a hooker. Oh. Let's just, let just get the hell outside. Alright. I've seen enough. Uh, this place is properly depressing, uh, mister. I'll be going now. Let's see what else we got. Seems like everything... Wait. Yep. Yeah. Can go there, but can we go in every place that has a no? Because that was my my theory that maybe we can go in every place that has a light. Not city camp. Really? Seems like a drow camp. Step back, Outlander. The Naziri have heard whispers of your arrival here. Just because you've been released doesn't mean you can freely wander here. Wow. Um, you're saying this released uh, status of mine is like like I'm like some kind of upstanding citizen now that you're no longer a prisoner well you still can't come in here but I got the letter how about this oh yeah you're a hunter now I must admit I'm surprised they granted you this status so quickly I wonder why well wink wink I'm very capable this place makes me feel like I'm back in Zemurad. What? 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 What is this fate to black? Oh, they just went away. I thought I smelled a human approaching. This one looks different from all the others, though. What brings you to our corner of Delark, Outlander? No idea. I may be a Denny, but I count many friends amongst the Naziri. I've been around Zemurad. Uh, these names very unusual sounding I believe your people have a saying how does it go again ah oh, yes actions speak louder than words perhaps we'll find out how worthy you are soon enough what the hell what what are all these people chatting me up every every meter do not mind my brothers my people are not known for cultivating open minds we don't have we don't have uh, many human visitors to the Naziri camp. You should uh, familiarize yourself with our ways. Every drow here is subject to our traditional caste system. If you have no qualms about that, feel free to enter. I do have a uh, big qualms about the the caste system, so uh, just saying that. It's not a good system, guys. Just saying. You know, caste system sucks. How about that? I'm gonna tell th that to the children as well. Oh. They are nomadic people. These traditional tents shelter them from the elements in the harsh deserts of Zumarad. Okay, but that doesn't mean you gotta have a tent inside the city. Like, I could understand having a tent, like, if there is, like, no other place to go, but still. I was born in trial and have served the Naziri well since I came of age. Even in these conditions, I will continue to do my duty. Every newborn is essential to our clan's survival and are raised as equals until they come of age to assure their rightful places in their, in their caste. Wow. I, I would never gonna grow up. Raised as equal? Really? I do find that very hard to believe in a caste system. Some coffins, random coffins, and some drow sitting on the floor. I spent two hours donating my blood energy to the mages today, sister. Um, uh, they well spent, I suppose. 
You have served our house well. One day they will use that very energy to free us from this wretched place. Um, oh, a piece of paper. I'll be uh, taking that. Just to respect your culture, people. Interesting. Oh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Look deep into the roaring flame and come to understand the dark beauty of Naziri. Only the Silvani are truly incapable of understanding our ways. Did you see anything? The flame speaks to those who have eyes to see and ears to listen. I did see flames. So, I, I guess I totally get it. I don't think we have anything to do here. Maybe uh, we're gonna have a... Oh no, maybe... Oh, this, this one stands out. I'm taking the piece of paper just to respect your culture again. Uh, this one stands out. No, not, not really. Yes, let yourself relax. I feel the power of blood energy you have been cultivating for me. You will bring the Naziri great honor. Um, I'll never get used to this. seeing this, despite the time I spent in Zamurad. You look uneasy, Outlander. Do not fret, no harm will come to the Thrall. She will simply need a little time to recover before she serves, serves me again. Well, uh, great! I'm just stealing your piece of paper. I suppose I'm be going now. Maybe this bartender guy is the boss? Shadow Mancer. Care for a shot of our finest brew? Um, I'm, <clears throat> I'm warm enough. Maybe next time. Um, sure. So I think maybe we're just gonna go with plenty. Maybe we're gonna check out more thingies next episode. But I do wanna get to the recruitment camp and maybe get some recruits. Uh, I don't know if we need to change our group too much. This is where we can shop. I don't know how much money we got. Not a lot, not, not a lot of money. This is the tavern and this is the prison uh, slash guardhouse. I suppose more of a guardhouse than prison. Hey guys, what's up? Um, there was a patch, as I said. So I don't know if the, these are the same guys we we had last time. So I don't I don't necessarily know that. Um, let's just make sure if you are change swapping out people i want to make sure because apparently i'm not not sure if you kick someone you get back their gear um oh that's not what i wanted just do some swappies and we can just get rid of her stuff we are never gonna kick <laughs> oh man uh, lyric. I instinctively looked at the top and she had the name of Bio. Like, okay, come on, I can figure this out. Doesn't have to say Bio. The, the name could be there, and this can be just, you know, just. Just a tip. Anyway, let's see what we got. Great at avoiding traps and stacking damage. Oh, this is good, good tip. Uh, look at that. This is a good example of that now we have the new patch because it's actually written out what they do. So this does 2 damage, uh, finding stuff is free, uh, that's trading, god damn it, what is that? What is that? Can we check? Uh, I really should know. B. Uh, that's avoiding traps. That's finding stuff. This this should be uh, said, but I, I can remember. Uh, so this is trading, and this is resting, and this is finding uh, traps. All right. Uh, it was easier to figure out this way. What do we want? So we got this great at avoiding traps and stacking damage. I'm not exactly sure how he does that. So we got this guy. Do we want a Vasper Shadowmancer instead? Because the Fusilier uh, does one more damage and actually has a pretty good power. Although the Vasper Shadowmancer has one more stuff finding skill and four more health and one more 
uh, willpower, something like that. Powerful flourish, high merchantry. I don't know if he. Well, Cezalina seems really good. Wait, what? That's another Fazilier? Are they completely identical? They're utterly identical. They are exactly the same. They just have different uh, uh, faces. So one thing we can do is maybe kick uh, our current uh, girl and see what this guy, Vosper, does. Because we might not need Cezaline. And also we can... Uh... Oh my god, three of these? But they are completely identical, right? Yeah. They're completely identical. All their things are completely identical. Yes, all their stats. Which, which is okay, I, I suppose it's gonna be uh, less RNG dependent this way. I suppose we can also kick him because <laughs> I have like so many replacements for him. But what about the Shadowmancer? Okay, let's just, let's just get Mr. S Shadowmancer, man. Uh, okay, okay, sure, okay, fine. I I'll be dismissing somebody. I guess you can't replace, you need to kick out first. Uh, how do we get into the party first? So, let's say he gets kicked. Mighty Blast. Uh, let's say he gets kicked. I, it just really hurt, you know? I don't, I don't like this. Firing people. You make sure to unequip your departing comrade's relic. Yeah, I got this message before, but I, I just assumed that... After getting this, I just assumed that you would lose it. Which is not great. I would I would much prefer if you actually just, if if he just actually put back the uh, put it back in the party inventory. But I guess we're gonna kick him out and uh, check out Vesper. I don't know if I need him, but I guess we're gonna put him in for now and uh, check out what he can do. He only has one special ability. Other than that, he's mostly bringing his. Uh, uh, well, its damage is low. All enemies receive blighted status. Targets suffer minus one health per turn for four turns. Oh. Deal damage to one mid rage target. Target receives infected status for minus one health per turn for four turns. This is interesting. So this guy is actually deals more damage and even more damage because uh, it deals damage over time. And also, he only hits... Actually, he can hit everybody as well. Hmm, interesting. This could be a worthy replacement for the other guy. Alandra. Seems like we should have maybe another frontliner. And Vosper seems like an okay choice. He's also better at finding stuff. So finding stuff and finding traps. So he can go first. Interesting. Uh, the only question here is that, do we want Cezalina? Because she actually is pretty good for, for, for free. Well, we don't really need that. And Anaziel is, is the same thing. She's kind of tanky. I don't know if you want her, though. We can just have uh, Rambi, but I guess we don't really need Rambi at this point. It's kind of tough. Maybe we're just gonna go with this theme. But it's possible that uh, someone is gonna get kicked. The advantage of having Joran Kang, uh, or like an Aircaster in the team, is that we can heal for a lot. Which is pretty uh, relevant, actually. Yeah, I think we might just go like this. I don't know if... Actually, we might want to kick Joran Kang. I mean, an Arkester. But I don't really have a clear damage choice here. Whatever, let's just go with this team. I am terribly indecisive, so... Uh, we better make a decision. And I don't think we have a lot of money either. Um, yeah, that needs to be equipped on... Maybe Vospar? No, no, no. That has a downside. Awareness minus one. So we don't want to put that on someone who, who we actually rely on as for, for awareness. But do I have money? Wait, that's the money I have? That's not a lot of money. 
How do I have zero money? I got some stuff. Okay. All right. Let's just go to the marketplace. <laughs> and buy some stuff. Come on. Oh. We got an exclamation mark. Oh, that could be pretty important. Uh... Yes! Supply drones have been pretty dry these days. So, that means that we likely... Uh, well, it, it showed the red text. That means we probably got all lucky. And now we... He, she doesn't have anything noteworthy. Uh, let's say we sell everything. And we're not gonna end up with a lot. We had a juice. 22. So that's 300, which is not great. Alright, let's see what else we got. We can just take the piece of paper. Oh, <gasps> no, a piece of paper again! Uh -huh. Hey, oh, we got lucky with this guy, apparently. And uh, he's selling... Maybe maybe the price actually improves as well. Who knows? Only usable by camping. But these are actually kind of bad. He doesn't have anything good to sell. So I don't think we got very lucky. Although it would be nice to find out if actually we can sell stuff for more. Are there more traders in here? Well, these are not traders. You look fresh off the boat from Medina. I don't believe you met, Outlander. I'm Nari Song. I'm Lyric! What's the North Venture Company still doing here? Conducting business as usual, no less. What we are doing is anything but business as usual. In any case, you'll be surprised how durable the age-old tenets of supply and demand are. How's that possible in a place like this? Come on, people need still still need stuff. Some spooks in Eisner are still going about their daily lives. They trade supplies from the vast stores of Eisner we don't have access to. And what could a spook possibly want in return? Hmm. Hellion. The only currency worth anything in this godforsaken waste. Spooks won't accept gold. Lucky for us. We are the only ones capable of printing authentic Hellion. <laughs> oh my god. Interesting. Wasn't Hellion originally meant to be used as a burnt offering from the Foxier? The ancestors? That's true. They can't make it for themselves. You seem familiar with our culture. I guess it's no surprise you're carrying such a nice crossbow. I've never seen anything like that. Well, it's nothing like a traditional foxier bow, but it's a of my own making. We should visit the range someday and fire a few shots. Really, lyric? Hitting the fo hitting on the foxy lady? I totally approve, though. A lot of people are so chatty. There's okay, some some dumb statue. I'm just looking for someone who maybe is gonna trade with me. More foxy ladies. Yeah, I'm taking that. Huh. As much as I would like to talk to these people, also I kind of want to make some progress. Wait. Nope. We can't make any progress here. Uh, I think we just gotta go up and uh, slowly head out. I got a little bit around. No, no, no. This is where we need to go right. Uh, yep. And, uh, what, one thing I wanted to do is just make sure that we are ready for the adventure. And that's why I kind of ended up there. Just to try to find a, a merchant. And, uh, apparently... But they didn't have good stuff. So, I think the... We're just gonna simply go for a night's rest. Uh, because we put on the artifacts. Uh, we lost some health. Because you don't gain health. Well, you don't you don't gain full health points when you equip an artifact. I suppose they have that. Uh, so if it happens on your adventure, uh, then you know then it's just then you don't gain health, obviously. But in town, it, you probably should gain the health, so you don't have to go and sleep. But at least I saved, so that that's a plus. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Next time, we head out.